Welcome. Today we're going to show you how to program failures within PMDG 737 add-on for Microsoft Flight Simulator. The failures are set using the control display unit of the flight management computer. Once you know how to program failures, you can put into practice the procedures shown in our non-normal procedure videos and take your 737 flight sim skills to a higher level. There are three types of failure in the PMDG 737 add-on. Random. Service-based failures. And programmed failures. Let's first take a look at random service-based failures. Service-based failures will cause failures to occur as a result of mechanical reliability over time. There are two different ways to turn service-based failures on or off. First go to the PMDG menu, then select Options and Simulation. At the top you can see service-based failures are off by default. Press L1 to turn them on. We'll cover the second method shortly. The failures are found from the PMDG menu in Aircraft, then Failures. The failures are arranged into categories, within each are multiple failure options. There is also an All Systems option. Let's take a look at Pressurization Failures. The options are inside the programmed failures. There are two possible failures, let's pick the first one. We have some more options, is the failure active as soon as we select and confirm it? Or is the failure armed, which will enable the time options below? Let's select armed and set the failure to occur in 30 seconds. and 30 seconds later, the pressurization failure occurs, as programmed. Let's try another, a leak from the engine-driven hydraulic pump too. This time, we select the option for the failure to be immediately active, as soon as confirmed. Watch the hydraulic quantities on the lower display unit. System B hydraulic fluid quantity is slowly decreasing due to the leak. Let's take a look at the options, had we selected random. We can set the amount of failures per 10 hours, and then limit how many events we get. Lastly, let's go into all system failures. Notice the service-based failures option, this is the second method to turn it on or off. That concludes our look at programming failures in PMDG 737 add-on. Now you should know how to simulate a failure and follow the procedures as demonstrated in our non-normal procedure videos. If you enjoyed please click on like, and if not already please subscribe to learn of our future videos. Thank you.